Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm in the middle of making a flat panel. And I just want to show you, and I, yeah, I have built some. This is what um, it will look like. It does flare out like that because it tends to curl. That's just what happens. And the three stitches that aren't being used is normal. So I just wanted to show you, there's a lot of mistakes that people make when doing a flat panel. So I thought if I showed you, then um, you might be able to work it better. So um, I want to change my angle and I'll be right with you. So this is where I want to focus. Um, I'm just going to turn my light up a bit because it just might be a little hard to see with dark color. But this is the area that I want to focus in um, to show you. Now I'm halfway through. I'm just coming back around to this side. Now when I get back over here, you're going to want to watch these needles. It's going to go past two needles and then when it comes back, that might be a little bright. And then when it comes back, it's going to latch on to one of them. But it is going to go past two needles, but it's not going to put anything on it. So watch. And there's a couple of things I need to tell you. So it comes back around, and this is where the needle that it's actually using, it's not using this one or this one on this side. So it'll go... To this needle these two aren't being used at this point I want to pull down on my yarn when I go to come back the other way to keep it nice and tight it'll skip those two needles and it'll put it around this needle but this needs to be down if that's not down you're gonna have issues I'll show you again come back around the other side So this is a slow process. So this is the hook here that's not up. This is the one that we need to watch. When it comes up, this piece right here needs to be down over. If it's not, it's going to fall off. So that's the first thing you have to look for. So that's down underneath. We're going to go two hooks past it to the white needle. So now I'm going to pull down tight on my yarn right here. I'm going to pull down and keep that nice and tight. So it's going to come back. It's not going, these two needles aren't going to pick it up. It's going to come back and get picked up by this one. So you got to keep it tight so that it picks it up. So now that's picking that up. So these two needles don't and then these two needles don't. So I'm going to go back around to the other side. And when I come back around I've got to slow down because I have to make sure that this hook, I got to make sure it's pushed down around these two pegs over here. And it is. It's all the way down. If you can see it right there, it's down around those two pegs. So I'm pretty good. Oh, sorry. I this is the wrong needle. But mine, wrong hook. My, um, my yarn is down around those two pegs. So I'm good. I can go two hooks back. I keep my tension tight. I come back around and my needle's going to grab it again. These are all the things you got to look for when you're doing a flat panel. So I'm going to see if I can get a better angle. So I'm going to come around. Now you can see that this didn't drop down and I'm going to have a problem. It's going to drop a stitch if this isn't pushed down. So I've got to make sure that's pushed down. And then I go past my two hooks. I come back keeping my tension tight. And when I come back, these two hooks didn't pick it up, but the one I'm on will pick it up. Let's go back around. 
So there's those three things that you got to watch out for when doing a flat panel. There, it's not the easiest thing in the world. So I'm back around. My yarn is over those two pegs like it should be. So it's not going to drop the stitch. It's the exact same thing as a dropped stitch. So I'm going to come back past my two hooks. Keep my tension tight on my yarn. It's going to bypass those two hooks. And this other one is going to catch it. The other side is much easier to see. So you do the same thing for both sides. You've got to make sure that this, and again, this side never seems to drop down. This has to drop down over those pegs. Or you, this side's just not ever going to work. This side seems to work every single time. This side never seems to work for some reason. I don't know if that's everybody or just me. So now I'm going to go two pegs past. The machine stops itself. You don't have to stop it, but if you're if you're doing um, a panel that the machine's not stopping you from doing, say you're doing maybe just three or four back and forth, you're going to have to know you have to go two hooks by because those two hooks aren't going to pick up your yarn. Does that make sense? So now we come back around. And this side always goes on, so as you can see, my yarn dropped down over those two pegs, just like all of these. You see these? It dropped down. It always drops down on this side. So now this needle and this needle, I'm going to go, the machine stops itself, so I know I've got to go back the other way. But those two needles are not going to pick up my yarn i got to keep it tight for this third one to pick up my yarn. Go back around to the other side. And here we go again. It's not going to drop down, so I have to push it. Then I'm going to go two needles by. I'm going to put tension on my yarn. I'm going to come back around, and that third needle is going to pick it up again. So that is how you do that as far as watching your flat panel. Now mine didn't mine's all jacked up here on this side, which isn't normal. So I'm just gonna take my pick. Looks like I got a couple pieces in there. I'm just going to pull that down over my peg. Back again. That didn't drop. I just got to push it down. And this is Lion Brand that I'm using. So this is something that doesn't normally drop stitches. So you just got to be careful. So that is it. Now as far as, as this thing, this is your panel, the P, and then this is for circular. So to go around in a circle, that stands for tube. P stands for panel. So if you wanted to, let's continue this. If you wanted to all of a sudden stop doing this, Let's say you're in the middle of it, just like I am right now, and you want to stop doing the flat panel. You just have to turn it to the P, or the T, sorry. Flick it down to the T, and then keep spinning. When you come around to your blank spots, now I've come around to my blank spots, that's where my last, my last one here of my flat panel. So now I'm going to take this out. I'm in front of this one. So now it's like you're casting on all over again. 
Sorry if that's blurry. So now I'm going to go behind, in front, and behind. So now I've covered those three hooks. So when you come back around, stick it back in the carriage after you've cast it on those three. Continue around. Now it'll just, it's going to do every other one to start. And then you go around again. And that's when it'll start doing every single spot. Just like that. So that's how you do it. As far as a flat panel goes. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you in the next video.